brave citizen. How can I help? We do have a quest, if you believe that you are ready for it. The trolls have taken up a position on Death Plateau, and we can't move them. As you know, the trolls have been pushing us hard, and we have to do something before they get too dug in and begin sending forces down the path. They have stone throwers lining the only path up there that we know about, and the only entrance is narrow and easy to hold. If I didn't know they were pretty much mindless animals, I would almost admire the position they've taken. Sending you alone would be suicidal. What we need is to find another way up there. If we can find another route, then we can try and ambush them or just spy on their movements. There's a cave beyond the defensive wall to the northwest, at the foot of the plateau, where you'll find a dwarf called Sabbath. He's a surly old geezer, but a good ally. He and his wife were surveying the mountain before the trolls arrived. To get there, go northwest from here, then west past the tower and the ruined wall. Then turn north, and you can't miss it. If you go and speak to him, I'm sure that at the very least he'll be able to tell you another route up to the plateau. We really need you to help us. With some urgency, it will be dangerous, and you may have to face some combat. Can we do it? Great news. May the gods grant you speed. Hello, what are you up to? Ambush the trolls, eh? That's an idea. First good one I've heard the guard have in a long while. But it's not my problem, so I suggest you take your fancy talk elsewhere. Well, try not to get in me way. Because I'm not going to help you. Fine. Fine. <sighs> You're really not going to move, are you? All right, I'll help. If nothing else, I don't want you standing there watching us while I sleep. Well, if you want up there, you've got two choices. The first one is you can try the airy, fairy, lackluster, shoddy way, clambering over the rocks like some cross-eyed goat. Faffing around like a fool, scrambling about hand over hand, foot over foot. Nobody's meant to get around like that, man. It's the meanest. Trolls might be thick, but they'll spot your cart and rubble out by the ton. So, what you need is to break into one of the natural caves under here. That'll sort you out. Then you can enjoy the wonderful sport of caving and potholing. Ah, the great feel of scrambling hand over foot through dark, dank passages. Bliss. Well, I didn't get much time to do anything but make some notes before the trolls came. I bet Frida had time to put them all together. She's a bit soft in the head from all the living on the surface, but still a canny lass when it comes to geology. 
You can't miss her place. It's a little house to the west of here. You just need to follow the only path in that direction, and you'll get there. I don't know why she keeps to that place when we have a nice comfy cave right here we can turn into a proper home. It's you lot that I blame. All you gallivanting around on the surface has turned her head. Aye, see you later then. Watch your heed on the way out, mind. Hello, how can I help you? What do you want that for? Oh, he would go telling you that, the old duffer. There are some, but he doesn't understand that humans like you prefer running about and climbing over things instead of digging around. Ah, yes, that sounds about right. He's always hated it. Ever since I managed to get from Remington to Taverney overground, faster than he went underground. He tried going overground himself next time, slipped on some snow and ended up bashing his shoulder on a rock, bless him. Anyway, this survey. I can make a start on it after I get back from town, so you'll have to wait for me to be done with it. The survey we made is written in some very technical terms, and I'll need to dig out all the information for you. Well, I could, but I really need to get my climbing boots re-spiked. If I don't have that done, I might run into trouble if the weather turns. Oh, that sounds like a pretty good idea. You're on. I'll make a start while you go take care of this little job for me. Just go and see Dunstan. He knows how I like them. Good smith, that man. Well, for a human, obviously. In one of the houses to the east of Burthorpe Castle. His is the one in the middle. In fact, it would probably be quicker if you used the home teleport spell. It saves your running all the way there and then all the way back. something. Hey, these are Frida's boots. Where did you get them? Well, I suppose so. There you go then. Here are your boots.
I'd just finished it about a minute before you walked in. You've got a good sense of timing. That's grand. I'll take them off your hands. Here's the report. Nah, you're all right. He'd not accept it anyway, the stubborn goat that he is. Want to get into that tunnel, you can make your own hole. Just try not to get any rocks on me gear. Oh, just try not to make a mess. No. No. No! I don't need you. Or your fancy toes. I'm a dwarf. If I can't do it on me own, then I might as well not bother. Do you think I'd be stuck in this hole, fighting trolls with me bare hands and teeth, eating moss and chipping the walls with a stone if I didn't think I could do it? These trolls aren't going to beat me. I'm going to outlast them. And when me wife comes to her senses, she'll come back and we can set up together. Aye, we'll set up this little shop just like we planned. And no trolls are gonna stop us. Don't be daft, man. Do I look like I can just magic up a tunnel for you? Well, I've been trying to work the place a little, you're right. But all I've got to work with is rocks. If I had some ores, I'd be laughing by it. But there's not. Oh, is it now? Well, get yourself off then. Watch your heed on the way out, mine. Watch it. You humans don't know how to mine cleanly at all, do you? Excuses, excuses. Hey, take these. Frida keeps sending us them. She knows I hate tomato. Those caves will likely be dangerous. And even if you make it to the other side, you'll face some trolls. So, either I leave them to start stinking up the cave, or you eat them. Either way is good with me.
Big boss made him, but then I ate him. Yes, then the other trolls say mean things. Look at the stupid troll, he's so stupid, he eats the map. Then they all call me the map from then on. Then we is lost on this slope. We's got no food, we's got no map. So, I ate everyone. Well, they was dead when I did it, but that's okay. Yes, some of them try and pretend to be alive still. I is smart, troll. They know for me. Hey, is you dead? Just checking. I eat you, human. <laughs> Can we use it to get onto the plateau itself? Ambush their reinforcements as they come through the choke point. I love it. We'll thin their numbers and give our troops on the front line some respite. Come, let's plan a little surprise for the trolls. You've done great work today. Very well. When you're ready, those archers will need some crates delivering to them. We have a number of reward lamps for you. If you want them. Well, I suppose that the archers on the overlook could do with some more supplies. Here, take this crate up to the commander at the ambush point. It has some supplies for the men, more arrows and replacement bows. Plus a few luxuries like cakes and letters from friends and family, that sort of thing. The commander has some reward lamps. Once they get this gear, he'll give you some to help with your training. Sarah Doman be with you, friend.
see how things are going. Thanks. These supplies will come in handy. Yeah, as your reward. We still need some more supplies, though. Please speak to Denolf if you have a chance. Not a lot. I think they're up to something, but we'll be ready for them. We still need more supplies, though. Please speak to Denolf if you have a chance.